crack this guy. Also crack this guy. Well, what's up guys, it's your boy Omar Samas and we are back with another Apex Legends video. In this video, it's a guide video. It's been a while now dropping guide videos because I've been just wanting to drop highlights videos to give you some fun. But I've seen a comment in uh, like yesterday, I've seen a comment on my no MSS video about my hip fire. And some people asked me on how to actually, how I actually hip fire a lot. I mean, how I actually land my shots with the hip fire. Uh, with any setting and I can have good hip fire so in this video I'm gonna explain to you guys how to have a really good hip fire aim and how to land accurate shots on Apex Legends in any gun you want so let me go straight with the video guys but before I start the video I need to drop a like on my video support my content and to subscribe if you're new to the channel so let's get into it anyway the hip fire so first of all let's jump into my setting and tell you exactly what I use I use here 4.3 I already dropped these settings before and I use max yaw speed now how to actually have a good hip fire aim it doesn't really depend on the setting but of course it depends on the response curve a little bit so for example if you use 10 response curve then you're gonna have a really a little bit bad hip fire but you still can have a good hip fire which is uh, depends on the dead zone that you have so you have to mini mi like you have to minimize the dead zone as much as you can to have a good hip fire so i recommend around three or maybe four four dead zone four dead zone three is just enough if you go higher then you're gonna have a really bad hip fire compared to low dead zone so this is the tip one make sure that you have a low dead zone and the response curve it doesn't really matter what you need to play with but anything un un under seven is good so play seven or under for hip fire and that is really good for it if you guys play 10 then also you're gonna have some problems with the hip fire and yeah so let me jump straight to you guys exactly and tell you what you should do so first of all if you guys a player that really is not good with high sense then i recommend to ma uh, to match the pitch speed and yaw speed to the together so let me tell you an example so yaw speed for example is 400 and pitch speed is 400 if you still feel that it's high you can play 350 350 so match these both and you're gonna have an easier hip fire aim also uh which is an advantage in apex audience now if you guys really insist to play high sense then you have to make sure that you need to get used to it it needs time so how to actually hit fire so let's say here around this enemy all right so let me just lower this volume first okay so let's say you have an enemy here a lot of people i've seen hit fire they do move the analog a lot the aim analog which is wrong you cannot you should not move the analog really much as you move your uh movement the left analog so you have to move your uh, movement so you have so you can have hip fire so let me tell you an example how i can do it so basically if this enemy is against me uh and i want to hip fire you don't need to move the, ana the analog a lot you just have to move left and right strafing so you can basically do this you can see i'm barely moving the analog but that's how i actually hip fire so you barely move the analog but how you can do it so let's say you move to the left you of course have to aim to the right but you have to move it smoothly and slow so it's gonna look like that as you can see so you barely need to move the analog but you have to move the movement so you have to strafe more so let's do it that's basically how it looks on of course a standing target now i know most of you guys are gonna say that this is the dummy standing so anyone can have a good hip fire but I recommend you guys to actually practice on it uh, so you can actually practice the movement that you're doing so I recommend to hip fire on this dummy and make sure to land every single shot so you keep moving like that even if you reload keep doing it like that 
over and over. You can see my my strafe sometimes go off, so this actually won't take fire. So make sure that your strafe is all what you have to do. Right? So you keep doing this over and over. And that will actually improve your skill with the strafing hipfire. So more tips I want to add to you guys exactly uh, better than this one also. If you need to use uh, hipfire, you can actually use up and down hipfire. So what is up and down hipfire? Let's say an, an enemy right here in front of you and the enemy is like moving forward. So instead of you guys hipfire left and right, you guys go straight to him and do like that. So I'm going to show you how it looks. So this guy is in front of you. Oh. Okay, here we go. You gotta do it like that. So this fire is called the up and down, I call it. My my language scheming. So I basically do is just jump straight and the enemy is in front. You hip fire and you move in front. So you do it like that. And while you do go in front, of course, the aim is gonna go to the right because you're moving to the left a little bit. So let me show you exactly how it looks on slower. You can see that I just went all the way right. I did not even hip fire or anything because this target is in front of me and he's not really strafing, not moving, unless he's face to face. So if the target is face to face, you have to hip fire like that. But if the target is like edges right here or like that, so you basically need to do this. You have to jump, hip fire, go all the way right like that, the way I did it. Or from this way, you're gonna jump fire all the way to the right so this is basically the second move that you have to learn so these are the steps that you need to learn first of all make sure to have a good sense with the hip fire yellow speed and speed speed you need to actually mess with this a lot to have a good hip fire you may need to make sure also that these things are not forced so for example if you're playing high sense you're not forcing yourself to play high sense to be like fade this is gonna be a mistake for you and it's gonna have really bad hip fire and also the second step is to have the death zone man a manage to be low of course also the response skill but the death zone is more managed because the death zone is focusedly mainly on the hip fire now the other stuff that i told you guys is in front of the player you have to barely move the analog so you have to barely move the aim so it's gonna be like that you can you can keep your like your finger smoother man you don't need to push a lot all right you just chill just chill a lot and strafe Uh, that's it like you have to chill and strafe all the time just to have a good empire and also the second move that i told you about got is the strafing left and right and the last move is the edges the one you push up and down go to the right all the way and that's how to actually hip fire so let's say an example here a tip what if this enemy moved and became in front of you or what if you missed the shots so you basically did this you missed all right so you reload you strafe a little bit while you're reloading, then you're gonna be in front of him. So you're gonna get back to step one, which is the hip fire in front of him. So this is mainly how to get a good hip fire aim. And of course, focus on the settings because the settings does matter with hip fire. If you use any setting, you don't really have to play with good hip fire. So let's say if I use zero, for example, for me, I will have a bad fire because I'm really not good with zero. Like I really don't like to play with zero but if you need to play with zero then do it but i really have bad fire with zero in actual matches i basically when i play with zero response curve i get this to 350 or 400 so it's up to you guys what to choose but make sure that you choose it wiser all right so anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next one peace out